This is a short piece that I wrote from a prompt in a AWA workshop. The prompt was, a stranger enters the room where you feel safe. The night so quiet, so dark, my tiny cabin at the edge of a meadow, sprinkled with tamarack, poplar, aspen, and pear trees. In these mountains, darkness comes early in October. My dog lady has curled in her fox red fur on the rug by the wood stove. Water is on the boil for Ovaltine. My little red valentine typewriter in the dining cubby waits for my poetry. Kerosene lamplight casts a soft orange glow through the cabin. This cabin has been a gift from the couple who built it quickly to live in while they built their dream home on the other side of the meadow. They have gone to Florida to work for the year to raise funds. This land belongs to them, Roberto and Halcyon, and to Bill, who has a cabin at the foot of the mountain. I'm settling in. I've arrived in my new home. From across the meadow, the sound of a man's deep voice finds its way into the cabin. Heart and breath stop to listen. He's shouting. On all four sides of the cabin, great slabs of glass give me views of forest and field when it's light. It's dark now. Moonless, starless. I see only my reflection, its wild eyes. Lady's ears prick as she lifts her head. The wooden arm that closes the door, a two-by-four slid into a pocket. Outside that door is the axe the one I used to split the wood, and I try to envision splitting a man's head. I am in a wooden box at the edge of a meadow, a kilometer from the nearest road, and there is a man who knows that I am in that box. He shouts again, closer, louder this time. There are no curtains for any of the windows, least of all the one where I have gazed out into the greens and golds I've dreamed of for years. Now my frozen frame stares at its own reflection. The slim beam of a flashlight moves through the darkness. I consider blowing out the lamp, but then dark would be complete, and he would have the light. Louder his voice comes. I can smell myself. Lady rises to her feet, staring as I do to the front of the cabin. A pot of boiling water, perhaps? Then the sound of the voice making the shape of my name. Sunny! A pause, a little breathless. Sonny, it's Bill. Don't be scared. It's Bill. I've brought wine. My body deflates. Lady lets out a brief huff, and I slide back the door's wooden up arm. Bill, come, come on in. It's good to see you. I shout much louder than I intended. Remembering Pat.